So this is the brand new Bliss OS 16 which is based on Android 13 and offers one of the best pure Android OS experience. So watch the video till the end to know how to install it on your computer. So let's get started. So this is the home screen and you can use your trackpad to open the app launcher and the quick toggles. So now if you go to the settings and in the about tablet, you can see the software version. It's running on the Android 13, which is not the latest, but for the Android OS on PC, it is definitely really impressive. And it is the Bliss OS 16 version, still in beta. So you need to remember that you can face some kind of bugs. I'll tell you about it uh, later. So now we go to the wallpaper and styles. And we have these uh, built-in wallpapers, two dark modes and the light ones. And uh, you can preview how it will look on your lock screen and as well as the home screen. And just click on apply and choose either lock, home screen or both. So typical Android UI. So it gives you the pure stock Android experience. This is how it looks. If you explore more of the options for the wallpapers, we have themed icons, dark theme, a lot of icon packs and fonts. And we get the con uh, like complete Material U theming engine here. So that definitely provides the modern look to the OS. Now going to the Blissify options, we have themes and lock screen gestures and everything. So going to the lock screen, if you check out the, the lock screen clock style, we have a lot of clock fonts and options. Uh, which is definitely a trend nowadays in newer OS. We can change the OS even if you used One UI or MIUI. So I'll show you how it looks when you lock. This is how it looks. And by default, it will be double line clock. So you need to disable that. Otherwise, you will have issues. Now, these are the quick toggle settings. And we have a lot of options, advanced options. You can have a launch app directly from the quick settings. You can just assign an app here. So really helpful and it's quite easy to use previously in Android OS the quick toggles weren't really that much uh, useful but here we have the separated notifications and the quick toggles which looks really good. So we have the full Android support and also the Google Play Store built in. Uh, we have the G apps built here we will see more about it in the installation part. The good thing is that many of the newer applications are now more adaptive to the uh, tablet UI for example this new Instagram update has made it so easy to use your um, app on the tablet or desktop previously used to crash a lot just a few updates ago so that is good to see and not just Instagram a lot of applications like this VN for video editing has adapted to the tablet UI and you can easily uh, preview your footage on the left side and then edit it on the right side get access to all your effects and timeline so this gets your uh, makes your job really easy and you can do a lot of productive tasks as well using your Android OS. So now it's no more limiting uh, and you're not missing out on a lot of stuff here either. Now a lot of you do ask question about key mapping and is a, it does support key mapper here. Uh, but the issue here is that I have enabled it and given it the root permissions. But after that even when I try to activate it, it's just not working. For some reason I'm connected to the internet, I have provided the root. Uh, permission so that's an issue and maybe they will fix it in the future updates and also we have the kernel so which is the new routing solution so if you want to use routing root apps you have that option here and is built into the system so that is really good for any of the development apps that you want to use now coming to the gaming performance you want to do a lot of Android gaming that is uh, supported here but uh, since the key mapping is not supported you need to use either controller or if you have a touch screen support then that will be good otherwise with mouse you can just use like like i'm doing you can only use one toggle at a time that is not really helpful while playing these games but you can enjoy games like subway surfers or temple run and then right now it's not actually playing in the portrait mode but if you see the actual screen this is how it's playing out and uh, i tried a lot of things that did not work so i finally found a solution if you face this issue with any of the portrait games you need to go to the set orientation that is an app in the app launcher open it up then continue now here select the orientation and you see you will see a lot of options from the drop down you need to select the landscape option right here then just press ok 
and now when you uh, will launch the game it's gonna open up in full landscape mode and I, I like I did not believe that the survey servers could run in landscape mode this was my first time playing this game in this mode and it looks really good and you can easily play it with you like just with your mouse because you just need one swipe so yes if you want to enjoy games like survey servers candy crush temple runs you can definitely do that here so that was good to see Now another thing is the browsing experience on this. I will suggest you to install the Kiwi browser and this is similar to Chrome, it's based on Chromium but you get the advantage of extension support. So you can use just like the normal Windows Chrome version. You can go to the Chrome web store and download and install any of the uh, extensions here and uh, they will work just fine. So that is a great alternative. So now let's move on to see how to install it on your computer. So now on your computer, visit the website for the Blizz OS and click on the download option. Now you will see a lot of different options for the Blizz OS. We have the 14, 15, 16. So we're going to install the 16 version which is the beta version for the Android 13. And also in the 16 version, we have two options, either the G apps or the FOSS. The FOSS would be not coming with the Google Play Store or the, any of the Google services. So just click and download the ISO file for the Blizz OS. Now we will also need the Balina HR application which we will use to create the bootable pen drive. So just download and open it up. Now select the file and select the OS where you have downloaded it, the OS 16. Now select your pen drive and then click on flash to start the flashing process. I have already done it so I am not going to click on it. Now once the flashing process is done, you need to make sure you backup everything before proceeding because I'm going to install it in single boot but if you want to install it in dual boot with windows you can check out the video in the description now power off your device and then press the BIOS button in the BIOS make sure you disable the secure boot and set the uh, boot option to UFI now use the boot menu queue to access your pen drives now select your pen drive from the list then you will see this Bliss OS screen so now scroll down and uh, select the Bliss OS installation menu and now you will see this option if you have a UFI system. Now here you need to select your EFI partition which is usually going to be about 100 MB or 500 MB. So you will see this VFAT and 100 MB. So just select that. That is going to be EFI for the boot menu. So make sure you select that. Now just go ahead with do not reformat then select yes. Now this screen you need to select our the biggest storage. This is going to be our main partition for the Blaze OS and we are going to format it in xt4 so select that then click on ok now here press yes to start the formatting process and this process is going to take a long time now you will finally see this screen which says either run or reboot we're going to run the bliss os now once it boots up it's going to ask you to do the general setup so i'm just going to do that and just skip to the later part now it's going to ask you to choose the home launcher so choose the second one that is launcher 3 this is the most stable one now i do want to mention that you you may face random freezes and reboots because this is still in beta make sure you check the description for all the links and guide so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching